Hi and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. Today we're looking at this custom Lego kit that was sent to me by the marvellous Scott Bowman, aka Idea Brickworks. This is his micro scale Saturn V. For those of you who don't know, the Saturn V was the rocket NASA built to send people to the moon. Used as a super heavy lift vehicle throughout the Apollo program, it was the most powerful rocket that had ever flown successfully. The last Saturn V was launched in 1973 without a crew to send the Skylab space station into orbit. In July 2019, Scott built a giant LEGO Saturn V model at the Seattle Museum of Flight for the STEM Moonshot LEGO Build Challenge, supported by the Seattle LEGO Users Group and one very familiar looking Englishman. The finished build towered at a whopping 12 feet tall and was made up of over 34,000 LEGO bricks. This micro kit was also given out as gifts to the children that came by during the event and helped build the giant model. But if you'd like to pick up your own, head over to Scott's site, ideabrickworks.com. I need to say a massive thank you to Scott for sending me this kit for free to review, and yes, hopefully one day we'll be able to meet in person. Alright, it's time to open this baby up and get building. Although, to be honest, this packaging is so nice, it's going to be a crying shame to tear into it. And here she is, all built up, and I have to say, this was a lot of fun to put together. It's a relatively straightforward assembly, but one that feels satisfying as you put it together and see the rocket taking shape in front of you. Even at micro scale, this thing is a fair old size, Coming in at 35 and a half centimeters, or 14 inches for our American buddies. Here's an appropriately space themed minifig next to it to give you an idea of the scale of this beauty. One of my favorite parts of the model is actually the bottom. I just really like the shaping of the fins and five F1 engines. The use of trans orange pieces to represent the flames erupting out of the exhausts is also very cool and gives the model a nice finish for display. Now anyone that's been on my channel for all of 5 minutes will know I hate stickers in LEGO sets with a passion. And this kit does include a fair few, including some that wrap around over multiple pieces. But honestly, they didn't really bother me. The stickers here are printed onto a different kind of paper than what LEGO uses. It's thicker, glossier and actually feels of higher quality. And whilst I did dread trying to put them on, application was actually rather chore free. And following the pictures and the instructions it was a doddle to make sure they were all aligned correctly. I have no intention of taking this baby apart so there's also no worry about the stickers crossing over multiple bricks. Overall, I think this is a cracking little kit. It's fun to put together, and it looks great as a display piece when you're done. And even though it's really, really tall, especially for a micro-scale build, its relatively narrow girth means it doesn't really take up a lot of space. So it's the kind of thing that a space or NASA enthusiast could just have next to their monitor on their desk. If you have the official LEGO Saturn V, this could also be a great companion piece. And if you don't, it makes for a really nice and cheaper alternative. Remember, if you fancy picking up one of these lovely kits yourself, just head over to ideabrickworks.com. I'll pop a link in the description and the pinned comment as well. Let me know what you think of this build in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you've done all that, well, shoot for the stars and give the video a cheeky like as well. I'll see you next time. Laters.